So, Stake in Investments inside Mentors is now live. It's essentially a reward for locking up your essence for a set amount of time and here's a quick tutorial on how to do that and what we can expect in return for doing so. So, first of all, to get to the Mentor Staking, you want to come to your profile. And here you will see the button Mentor Staking, just above your properties and below the gift code redemption box. Now clicking this opens a window where we can see which stakes are available and our active stakes. So to be able to do any staking at all, we do need to make a selection from each category. And then a slider bar to select the amount of essence you want to stake will appear. However, you can also click and type in here to do an exact amount if you wish. So the categories we have are specialty one tiles, which are those first 25,000 upgrades per type in each country. And in the same selection, we have T1 Plus, which are T1 tiles which still have EDC or Promised Essence remaining. Next along is just your standard Tier 1, and finally Tier 2. Next, under these, we have Property Size Selection, all the way from one tile up to 750. And finally, the Lockup Period Selection. Now, we can't select which specific property we want to stake our essence on. It's automatically assigned based on the previously mentioned selections. But, as you can see, each selection does show us exactly how many tiles we have available for staking within it. And as you can see, I have zero available on the special tiles, as I have already staked these. However, come on over to the standard T1, I do have some available for staking, and so on. Now, these selections do make a big difference in the returns you get. And we can see the percentages under each showing how much additional ether we will get from staking those plots. However, it is a percent that's based on the current ether production for that plot, so larger percentages don't necessarily mean better returns. Thankfully, the user KeyMaker made a fantastic graphic that shows exactly what these returns are in an easier to understand way. So, as we can see, the larger plots, higher tiers, and the maximum number of days staked gives better returns. And combining all of these gives the best returns. For example, a 750 tile flex of T1 special tiles gives a return of 7.4% over the 90 days, whereas a T2 flex gives just 2.47% over the same period, and so on going down with the lower tiers and smaller plots. Now I will leave a link to Keymaker's graphic in the description below for anyone who wants this. Now I will say please do take the time to think about if you want a stake and how long for before jumping right into it. Not only is your essence locked up for the time period selected, but the staked properties are locked up too, meaning they can't be sold or even upgraded during this time. However, if you are happy with your selection and want to go ahead, simply click the stake button here at the bottom. If for some reason it's greyed out, you've either missed one of the selection boxes or you're trying to stake more essence than you have. But once the stakes gone through, it can be found in the Active Stakes tab, along with details on your progression. Lastly, to claim your staking rewards, you will find a new button just under where we claim our ether. The staking rewards come in once a day, and once claimed, is added to your ether balance to either hold or convert. So, there we go. That's Essence Staking in a nutshell. Let me know in the comments down below what you've staked or what you plan on staking. As always, I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an amazing day. Peace out.